Confident, witty, and enthusiastic, this is your host, here to take you on a journey through the rich and fascinating history of coffee. From its humble beginnings in Ethiopia to its global domination, coffee has had an undeniable impact on society. Today, we're going to dive deep into the origins of this beloved beverage, explore its spread throughout the Arab world, and uncover its rise as a global commodity and cultural phenomenon. So, grab a cup of your favorite roast, sit back, and let's explore the fascinating history of coffee together. But first, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on our caffeinated adventures. Now let's get brewing. Well, 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 now that we know what coffee is, let's dive into the juicy details of its origins. Legend has it that coffee was first discovered by a goat herder in Ethiopia. Yes, you heard that right, a goat herder. This goat herder noticed that his goats were acting a bit strange after munching on some berries. And that's when he decided to give it a try himself. And voila, coffee was born. But wait, there's more. Coffee wasn't just a tasty discovery. It also had some significant cultural significance in Ethiopia. It was used in religious ceremonies and even as a form of currency. Can you imagine walking into Starbucks and paying for your coffee with a handful of beans? Now let's talk about how coffee made its way to other parts of the world. It first spread to Yemen, where it was cultivated and traded. From there, it made its way to the Ottoman Empire, where it became a beloved beverage for the elite. But did you know that coffee wasn't always consumed as a beverage? Nope, in fact, it was initially consumed as a food. And get this, it was even used as a medicine. Talk about a multifunctional product. So there you have it, folks, the fascinating origins of coffee. From a curious goat herder to a beloved beverage around the world. Who knew something as simple as a berry could have such a rich history? A... Now that we've explored the origins of coffee in Ethiopia, let's fast forward to its introduction to Europe. The first recorded instance of coffee in Europe was in Venice in 1570, and it quickly spread throughout the continent. The impact of coffee on Europe was immense. It was the catalyst for the Enlightenment, the Age of Reason, and the Scientific Revolution. B. Coffee houses became the hub of intellectual and social activity, where people gathered to discuss politics, art, and philosophy. In England, they were called penny universities because for the price of a penny, anyone could enter and engage in stimulating conversation. See, as coffee became more popular, it also became a global commodity. The Dutch were the first to introduce coffee to their colonies. And soon after, coffee plantations were established in Brazil and other parts of South America. Today, coffee is the second most traded commodity in the world after oil. D. But the history of coffee is not just about economics and trade. There are some fascinating anecdotes about the drink that are worth sharing. For example, did you know that the first coffee plant was smuggled out of the Arab world by a Muslim pilgrim named Baba Budan? He strapped seven coffee beans to his chest and brought them to India, where they were planted and eventually led to the thriving coffee industry in the country. So next time you sip on your morning cup of joe, remember the rich history and impact of this beloved beverage. And stay tuned for more fascinating stories about coffee in our next segment. Now, let's talk about one of the most beloved beverages in the United States, coffee. It's hard to imagine a day without a cup of joe, but did you know that coffee played a significant role in American history? From the Boston Tea Party to the Civil War, coffee has been a part of our nation's story. As early as the 1700s, Americans were drinking coffee instead of tea as a sign of rebellion against British rule. During the Civil War, coffee was a staple for soldiers and even used as a form of currency. But it wasn't just about survival. Coffee became an important part of American culture and society. It was a symbol of independence and progress, and its aroma filled the streets of bustling cities. But did you know that coffee also became a political tool? Yes, you heard it right. It's hard to believe, but coffee played a role in American elections. Candidates would often offer free coffee to voters as a way to win their favor. And it wasn't just the politicians. Coffee houses became a place for people to gather and discuss politics and current events. And here's a little fun fact. Did you know that coffee was first introduced to the United States by Captain John Smith in 1607? He brought the first coffee beans to the colony of Virginia, and the rest is history. So the next time you grab a cup of coffee, think about its rich history and the impact it has had on American politics and culture. Who knew a simple beverage could have such a fascinating story? T. Now, let's talk about the future of coffee. As we've discussed, the coffee industry is facing some serious challenges but there's also a lot of potential for innovation and growth. First, let's talk about some of the challenges. Climate change is a major threat to coffee production, 
as rising temperatures and unpredictable weather patterns are making it harder for farmers to grow high-quality beans. Economic instability is also a concern, as many coffee farmers struggle to make a living wage and are forced to sell their crops at low prices. But despite these challenges, there are some exciting opportunities for the future of coffee. New brewing methods are emerging, such as cold brew and pour-over, which allow for greater control over the flavor and strength of the coffee. Sustainable farming practices are also becoming more widespread, as farmers look for ways to reduce their environmental impact and improve the quality of their crops. One of the most interesting developments in the future of coffee is the potential for coffee to become a fuel source for cars. Yes, you heard that right. Researchers are exploring ways to convert coffee grounds into biofuel, which could help reduce our dependence on fossil fuels and create a more sustainable energy source. So, as you can see, the future of coffee is full of both challenges and opportunities. It's up to us to support sustainable farming practices, invest in new technologies, and continue to enjoy this beloved beverage for many years to come. And that, my friends, is the fascinating history of coffee. From its humble beginnings in Ethiopia to its rise as a global commodity, coffee has had a significant impact on our society and culture. But it's not just about the past. Coffee continues to play an important role in our world today. It's a source of livelihood for millions of people, and its popularity shows no signs of slowing down. So, what can we do to support the growth and sustainability of the coffee industry? Well, for starters, we can try new types of coffee and support sustainable coffee farming practices. By doing so, we can help ensure that coffee remains a vital part of our world for generations to come. Thank you for watching, and I hope you've enjoyed learning about the world's favorite beverage. Until next time, keep sipping and stay curious.